So your Iron Mike, man, the baddest man on the planet. How's this fight gonna go, man, with the, against this Disney kid? Hey, listen, right? It was good while it lasted for Jake, okay? It was good while it lasted. I'm not gonna last much longer. You're fat, Jake. Mike, Jake Paul has aspirations to be a world championship level boxer. From what you've seen so far, will he be a world champion boxer someday? Hey, let me just be honest. He's improved a lot. Yes, he did improve a lot. But he's not going to have a good night when he fights me on July 20th. Every win you get, every knockout you get, you seem to level up, but there's still people. There's haters against you. There's people that say you aren't a real boxer. If and when you beat Mike Tyson, is this the fight that puts the stamp on Jake Paul, the boxer? Yeah, 100 percent. They say he's the baddest man on the planet, so let's find out. I, apparently, he's the final boss, moving up the heavyweight and continue to prove all these dumbasses wrong. That's what I do my whole entire life. <laughs> Boo yourselves. Boo yourselves. Jake, I will say this. It's, it's one thing to fight athletes, another thing to fight KSI. What in the hell went through your mind when you said, you know what, I want to fight Mike Tyson? I love the biggest challenges in the world. That's what's made my whole entire career is taking big risks. And I, I want the toughest guy out there. I want the biggest fights. And making history is what I've done my whole entire career. And this is no different. Netflix, Mike Tyson, it doesn't get any bigger than this. And everyone will see July 20th. I will prove them wrong once again. I think you're suicidal. I think you're suicidal. That's what I think. How do you respond to people who are critical about this fight taking place in the first place at all because of your differences, particularly your age? Well, I don't see too many people critical about it. Look at this. Ha, 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 ha. Critics, I mean. Excuse me? Critics, you know, people who? in the Who? Tell me who. Name us somebody. Folks. You? Who? <laughs> no, folks who say it. Thanks. Yeah, no, thanks. <laughs> My question's for Jake. Jake, you say you want to be a serious boxer and you want to be a contender and be a title holder. So then when, at some, it, in, when in your career are you going to actually fight a contender in your weight class and not do gimmick fights? I think he just called Mike Tyson a gimmick. Mike Tyson's 58 years old or will be at the time of the fight, yes. So as much as I respect him? Mike Tyson will you and his... Him? What did you just call me again? I didn't him? call you anything. What did you call me? I didn't call you anything. It's been four years in this sport and I've done more to it than any boxer in the history of the sport. So in due time, sir, I will be fighting for a world championship and I will be shutting you the f up and making you eat your own words, just like the rest of these fucking punks. What makes each of you so confident that you will get the win come July 20th? I don't know, picture me losing to him. You're, you're gonna have a lot of pictures of it, Mike. Majority of your fights, we've certainly seen the power on display. Who, who did he move. knock out? Who did he knock out? Little, little children. He didn't knock out, never knocked out a real man. Come on. He's questioning your power, Jake. He's saying you haven't knocked out a legitimate fighter of his elk. He didn't knock out, he didn't knock out um, Tommy Fury. Your response to that, Jake? Hey, look, he's right. I, I, I can't stand here and say I did those things, but what I promise to the people is on July 20th, Mike will be put to sleep and he will feel my power and I will go down as the man who put Tyson to sleep for the last time. Let's go.